So I'm going to be uh, hosting the meeting today. It's not going to reach me. Um, we'll start by calling the meeting to order. And roll call, uh, Lois Burlett. Here. Uh, Elizabeth Collins. Here. Pauline is absent. Veronica is absent. I am present. Lucia Casey is also present. And next we can move to the Pledge of Allegiance. All right, I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, our first order today is approval of minutes of the August 17th meeting. Motion to approve. Motion made. Can I have a second? Second. All right, motion has been made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Good All minute. Right. <laughs> motion passes. Yeah. Christy does a good job. Okay. Uh, oh. All right, the next item on the agenda is approval of the financial reports. Up first, we have check warrants. Uh, I need a motion. Motion to approve. Second. Motion has been made and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Um, was, were there any questions? Are there any questions? No. No. <laughs> Boy, that's good. <laughs> record speed here. <laughs> um, next up is the MMDT statement. Um, last month we got distribution of $55.21. $55 um, do we need to do a motion on that? Just to put on place on file. All right. Motion to a file. I'll second it. Can I second it? Well, yes, because no. we have nobody yeah, here. Yeah, there's so. nobody here. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Second. Zach. We're short staffed today, like most of America. <laughs> uh, motion has been made and seconded and approved. So do you want to take me? Do you want to take me some another time? Sure. All right, so we have the accountant reports up next. We have July and August. Um, we'll take them one at a time. We'll start with July. Motion to approve, approve July. <coughs> Financial. Second. Any questions? No, no questions? All right, motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Oh, it's going quick today. <laughs> August. Next we have August. Um, need a motion to approve. So moved. Second. Any questions? No. Oh, none. All right. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Perfect. Opposed? No. Okay. Pardon me? You always have to call for the opposed even though there's uh, no. Oh. My apologies. That's all right. You're fine. What else? Correspondence. No. no new correspondence. Okay. Director's report. I need a motion to place it on file. Motion to put on file. I'll second it. Okay. Questions? None. Well, so you good? Yeah, I, I'm just, you went a little fast here. <laughs> We're at record speed today, Lois. <laughs> yeah, okay, so we already did the minutes. Yes, correct. All right, so that's set. And okay, the director's report. Uh, gee, I had some questions. Wait a minute, Zach, I don't know. Uh, oh. Well, I didn't know you spoke about the um, picking up uh, ABC. Or, or, or did you did you want us to discuss it here? Um, well, it, if somebody has another one that I can call, Cleanway now um, is Winway 
which is who we're using now, is sure. picking up clean waste. So they're not going to be independent anymore. So I, I mean, that would just be the same thing. I did send a message to ABC. I haven't heard anything. The only one that I have actually gotten anything back is re from is Republic Services. Which are the ones? Do you know the ones with the green barrels? I don't know. I see those a lot besides ABC throughout Westport, but I don't know who, what the company is. It's green. I think it's yeah. got yellow covers or something. But Greenway? I, is that Cleanway? Is that yeah, what but it they're is? going with wind waste according to oh, the... Oh, so that's the, the connection there. Okay. So those are the only two that I see throughout Westport as I drive. Have you seen any other colors? Of the the different uh, I have, disposals. but I can't remember the colors. Yeah, but I, I think I know Republic does some in Westport because I believe uh, you can purchase your own. Is that correct? Can you purchase your own? The, what pick do you up? Mean? Do you pick? Do you pay for the people who pick up at your house? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. individually, yeah. so you can go with whatever company. Right, right. Westport has a list of companies that are already registered with them. So, uh, but for us, when I went online to some of them, the containers, yeah. their minimum container is much bigger than our container. Oh, like it's 10 yards, it's, it'll be a problem for us. We don't yeah. need a 10 yard container. Mm -hmm. An eight yard container is more than sufficient. So the only one that I was able to get that from and get a price from was Republic Services. They are a little bit more than we're paying, but right now, um, Wind Waste has gone and now they're charging a fuel charge. Oh. So now we're up to another almost $30 in addition to what we were paying. So we know we're going to pay more because that's what's going on, but I'm not getting service from Wind Waste. They pick up once a week, right, uh, Lucia? Okay, because I know this, I don't know how much you have, but uh, I know in households you are able to negotiate every other week versus depending on how much you have, you know, so I wasn't too sure. I'm sure you do with the amount of residents. Well, for but. here it's better for smell-wise. Yeah. I mean, we can, in your household you can control right, what you're right. throwing away, yeah. whereas here they're going to, we want them to throw away whatever it is that's not good in their house or right. whatever papers, whatever, cans and bottles. There isn't room to, you know. No. It's not like they have a garage that they can put it in and not smell it. So I think for us, looking for a company that will do it weekly. For example, Somerset has almost triple what we have here. Wow. So we do two pickups a week. Mm -hmm. But here, one is more than sufficient. But yet, I think it's important to have one or in the summer the smell will okay yeah that's that's for sure okay those are the only two that i had seen around i, I can't remember any other colors yeah, i haven't heard do. i haven't heard back from abc no i thought i saw pink once but i'm not sure Anyone else has pink ones? oh all right who who has that pink clean way, clean way. Clean way. oh they have but that. i believe wind waste is buying them out so, and it looks like Wind Waste is trying to buy out any small company that's servicing. Mm -hmm. Not that Cleanway is that small, but. Right. Any other questions? No. So, if, um, well, I just told you about the additional. And the PMRs are starting again, but this is a non published year. That's the Performance Management Review. So it's a non-published year this year, so. Now, I, I didn't understand a lot of that. They sent all of us this. I brought it along because I didn't know if you wanted to elaborate more on it. No, they you don't know, send it to me. It said, I thought it said to the, yeah, Dear Executive Director oh, and Board. Just, that's just saying that they're going to do it. The date for it now is the October 12th, and it's all going to be done virtually. And then you, they sent the chart of what was, what they're concerned about. This is this chart, this chart. 
So is there any, that, that's what I wanted to ask you, is there anything that we have to do to help you out at all? I mean, I don't no, know. No, and I think most of, the, this. most of their concerns have to do with um, the CHAMP program. Oh, okay. And you know yeah. how that works for us. It yep. really doesn't work. Yep. Um, but DHCD doesn't want to hear that. I didn't see a corrective aim. Action. I, don't, I didn't know if we should kind of look at this as a group because I, we all got it separately, you know, in the mail. And then I thought you got it because I it, did get it, it said the cover letter. You yeah, know? I got the cover letter and then yeah. I just got the date. I had to send her a calendar of my schedule. Oh, okay. So the date just came in for October 12th and she's doing both of them on the same day. Somerset and here. Okay. Yeah, so I said, I said because October 12th I'm not here. Here mm -hmm. physically, and she said, um, "Well, you don't need to be, but I don't know how that works because I can't do anything from Somerset about Westport okay. in Somerset." So the, there's no board members in Somerset that support you for different things that are uh, to be here or anything. Lucy? Well, you can't be here for it. I mean, you can write, I guess, to. You could actually make comments to um, Lisa about what you think. I mean, we can just, if you have certain concerns, I can talk to you about it and then go over that. No, I just I didn't know, um, you know, about the uh, annual plan was okay. Yeah, I think DHCD I mean, thinks that stuff. we have tons of time to do everything. Yeah. And they, when they only give you 16 hours, there's no way you can fill in no. everything that I they're know, looking that's for. That's why I was concerned about it, to say, okay, so we don't have to be here or anything like that for you. No, okay. it's going to be virtual. Uh, okay. All right, any other questions? The motion has been made and seconded. Uh, all those in favor? Uh, Aye. Any opposed? All right. Motion approved. New business, Westport Police Department. Oh, please, nothing new and exciting is happening in the town of Westport. <laughs> <laughs> the summer's over, everything starts to slow down. And good times. Perfect. All right. <coughs> Moving on to old business. Uh, first, we have spy system. So that's the cameras that I did some research on. I don't know if you guys want to go through that. Is that okay with you? Well, I, I brought with me the last um, bid that you gave us. Yep. Did you bring that along? To I compare? do not. All right. Well, I bought, brought the last one, and I got the new one. And it looks like almost, would you say, it was 7115 Now we're up to almost $10,000, right? Correct. Okay. So I'm not somebody who understands spy systems. You know, the, the, I mean, it, you could tell me that it sees this and sees that, but I don't know. What I, I do find is living in a household where I used to hear discussions about this, um, a lot of times, I'm not too sure, do the police help you to place these? I mean, I wouldn't know where to place all these things around here to, to make sure that it's appropriate, you know, in the right places. Because if you, I, I don't want to speak for you, but I know at times if uh, you read in the paper, a bank is robbed, let, let's give it that. And then the cameras, the battery was out, the angle was wrong. So I just, feel if we're going to spend $10,000 on behalf of Lucia, you know, are those issues that are addressed in this quote and have the police department been asked to kind of look at it to see if this is what we should be doing because I don't have that information. I don't know that knowledge. We so were, We were given a, a map of where they were all going to be placed. <coughs> last, mo last month. Yeah. Right. But now, are we having more? This, this first bid had um, up to, f it says four, five, I, I don't know. I just, I just don't know if the police department, I feel, should be consulted at least to see where they should be placed in everything before we spend $10,000. Well, some of the things, um, and Zach, can, Zach has spoken um, to spy systems, 
But some of the things were that we've added from our present system is we've added to um, for a plate reader, a number plate reader, because we have a hard time discerning whose number plate is in with our right. original right. system. You're saying that, Lucia, yeah. And we also did on the map, we did some other placements so that we would get a better view of coming in and out. Plus, um, we also went with higher quality cameras or higher, higher I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. maybe Zach wants to explain that. Okay. How many cameras do we currently have? Gee, why are you asking that? Well, that well, we have some inside. So one, two, three, four. we have four, I think. Are those, those four. aren't being upgraded, are they? I believe so. Okay. Four inside this, this building? Four, in, uh, two okay. inside this building and... Two inside. And I'm trying to think, do we have three outside? We have, we have nine images that come up. So when I put the screen on, if I put the screen on for full coverage, we have right, nine images. It. Yeah, nine so, images, okay. So I think that's where you wanna go. We have nine images that we can see through here. Some of the things that we can't see very clearly are number plates. Why is that, uh, do you think? Uh, well, because yeah. they have a number plate reader that we do not have now. So it's, it's much clearer. And depending on with the cameras we have now, where they are, how we can embellish it or not embellish it is the question. So sometimes we can't see things clearly. We can slow everything down and try to look at it. But right. if it doesn't come out clearly, we're looking at, is it a Q, is it an O, is it a D? So those that are close, so we were looking for something a little bit better. That has to do a lot with resolution. Yeah. The higher resolution camera, you, you can enhance it more and be able to keep it clear. It's kind of like um, if the image itself is not high quality to begin with, enhancing it just makes it worse high quality. Worse high quality. Where if you have yeah. a higher quality to start, as we enhance it, it still remains clear. And those plate readers are specialized units. Um, I mean, just think of a plate, how big it is. Some of them have holograms. Some of them are faded or not. These things uh, specifically target um, that plate only, putting all of its energy on the plate and not really anything else. They're they're very you know specific and specialized tools. They're awesome if you can get them. Yeah, they're awesome. Did Did you look at this proposal, sir? I, I haven't seen it, and that wouldn't be a problem for us to to look at that, uh, but. The companies that do this, they usually have a pretty good handle at where you can and can't put them because if they get a bad rep, then nobody's going to hire them again. Right. Um, what the police is usually the most concerned about is accessibility to it. Can we get at it? How long it's being stored? Uh, you know, given us how much lead time. Right. And of course, quality. If not, they know where to put them. We just want to make sure we can use what we get. Well, when Zach and I were on the uh, library board, that they were thinking about putting them at the library. I don't know if they did, but one of the things that we were told at that time is that the town was going with a, a, a contract, you know, for the buildings. I don't know who they used. Or, uh, that was a bit, and if, if it's, if, I know, this is just a straight assuming, and you know what, what happens when you assume. <laughs> but when they put up the new school, I think they used, they also attached some of the cameras to the library. Uh, there were some of the specialized things there that we have off-site access to it in case there was an emergency that we need to see what was going on without actually being inside with what's going on with you know more of a command post yeah. type thing i don't think that's something that you may no. need here right but um, like i said if, if it's a legit company which i'm sure they did their homework they know where to put the cameras we just care about like i said uh, resolution and just to make it clear we've always given the police department access Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. access to our cameras, even the ones that we have now that are sometimes not as helpful to them as they could be. How, how long is the memory on them? Uh, so I'm going to, I'll touch base on all of that right now. Okay. Um, just to give you a perspective, the cameras that he was originally quoting us yep. were two megapixels. The camera on your phone is 12 megapixels. So it's a sixth of the quality of a camera on your phone. 
That's what he originally proposed. These new cameras are 4K, which is high definition um, cameras. And that makes a huge difference as um, Officer said, because the quality of a 4K image is high definition. You're able to blow that up. You're able to see details um, that you normally wouldn't be able to see with a two megapixel camera, for instance. Um, it makes a huge difference. It, you're gonna be able to tell, like, you know how you watch videos of people online when somebody robs a, a bank or whatever and it's kind of grainy? It's, it's, with 4K, it shouldn't be anywhere close to that. It should be very clear. You should be able to see everything and you should be able to blow it up to a point where you get a screenshot of that person um, relatively clear. Okay. So that's why, in my opinion, it's worth to spend a little extra money if we're going to do it anyway mm -hmm. to be able to get that high quality because, God forbid, we do need to go back in and review these cameras. It doesn't do us any justice if we can't make out who the person is. <laughs> So. And I believe this is all going to the cloud now, so um, Correct. we can give access to the police department if they need it. Yep, and it has a 16 terabyte hard drive, which is massive, um, so that, sh that should last a decent amount of time. What is the, what's the typical um, look back period, a month? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the norm usually is a, a, between a week and a month okay. before the DVR starts, you know, rewriting over itself. You know, it's just it's it's the, the, a week is not out of the question because within a week, hopefully, you notice a crime yeah. that's happened, so we can go back those seven days. You know, the the higher <coughs> talking seventeen terabytes. That's if 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 you're not looking at it every day, that's good to have because then you can go back farther and, and figure stuff out. Yeah. Yeah, right now we're on two weeks and I find that difficult because sometimes because we're not here all the time yeah. if somebody is reporting something to us I mean the system that we have now takes a while to pinpoint where something happened in the time in the day that something happened so, so that a yeah it's it's really hard to do it I mean like I've sat in front of them the, um, the TV for an hour and a half trying to discern oh, yeah. something. So this should eliminate that issue. We should be able Good. to pick it up, be, be able to pick it up faster with the time and date. And it also has that specialized bullet camera for reading the license plates. So okay. that's going to be pointed, my, correct me if I'm wrong, right at the inlet of the parking lot the entrance and exit yes yeah, so you so, would see entrance and exit yeah so we should in theory with the, these upgraded cameras be able to follow a car around the whole parking lot see their license plate coming in and going out so we'd be able to get timestamps of when the car entered yep. and what they did while they were here and then what time they left so that we could record all of that did, did we get anything for the back we did have you? a camera in back, so that so will be replaced. Set with, oh, yes. it will be replaced. Oh, Every, just, just, yeah. one, just one, Lucia, you Yeah, need? we just need one for a specific area. I I mean, it, we can't put them behind every building right, because right. that wouldn't make sense. But um, the building here so that the generator is protected, everything that could be harmed is protected. Okay. Now, do, with this quote, do they come and check on them every so often? Or well, is they, a, they have access to the cloud, so they can print out a piece for us. No, I mean keeping them running. Like well, a, they a would contract. know if something's not running because they have access to it as well. So they, I mean, they not that they're not going to sit and watch it. I mean, no. we would have to call them and say. But if I can see if there's a problem, if I turn it on and I put the nine images or ten images or whatever we have, Okay. I can see if one's not working. Okay. Very, and I have done that. I've had that issue here already. So Zach, if the, if one of them goes down, there's a contract that they replace it, or how does this work now, Are so that it doesn't warranty. A little bit, yeah. Two-year warranty. I mean, She's getting a, is there a yeah, that something that, warranty that helps them out that they're not always paying. You know, I, I mean. I think with ten thousand dollars, I I was just hoping that there was a contract that they. I can I can check that. Um, 
So it that says you know. all parts have a, a warranty, a two-year limited warranty. Where is that, sir? Right at, at the, the bottom, bottom of that quote. Oops, sorry. On techie. Yeah, right after the last box. <coughs> On the left. After the EX where it says state ID. Oh, yeah, okay. Right underneath that. Two years limited warranty. So what, it, what does that mean? What are we limited that to? That means like if you buy a TV, yeah. there's a limited warranty on it. If it fails because of a manufacturer defect, it'll be replaced. If somebody smashes it with a baseball bat, they're not going to replace it. Good, good way to say it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but there's not a lot of moving parts in the actual camera right. itself. All yeah. the cameras are eyes, eyes to the system. Yeah. The yeah. money is in the system and how those images get to it. The camera, like I said, there's no moving parts to it, really. No. It just in the stuff. And the system will actually be in the office locked. Yes. So if it's $9,995 and we have nine images, we're paying $1,000 per image, is there's, what you're saying? There's 10. 10? Ten? Yeah, there's 10 altogether now. There'll be another 10,000. No. Oh, it no, is there'll 10, be 000. another image. One more image. Yeah, so okay. you're right. It's, it's yeah. about 1,000 thousand per each. camera. Yeah, but it's... It's not because it's not per camera because there's a system that goes along with right. the camera. Right, I know what so. you're saying, Lucy. That's where the majority of the money is coming from. The bulk of it is from the DVR, which is what's actually recording, mm -hmm. because it needs to be in sync with the 4K system, and then it needs to have enough storage to be able to record mm -hmm. for a period of time. Which that's a question that I would I think we should probably ask Mike is how long is this able to record for with the system? Yeah, he told me, and I'm sorry, I don't remember. But, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a huge upgrade from the system that we have now. And I'm going to be honest, the system that he's proposing here is probably a better security system than most places even have well, today. That's good. And they're out of Webster, so they come down here? They yeah. have any decentralized um, area? No he, no, he comes. He's pretty good about doing that. Okay. Um, and he's available by phone. And plus, with the cloud, he will have access to everything. Okay. So it looks like we're worth the 3000 more. I think so. I Buy cheap, buy twice, or just spend a little extra and get something that's actually um, higher quality and more modern because technology is constantly getting outdated. Um, yeah. So instead of us having to go and upgrade this thing again in two years, this now will last us, whatever, seven to 10 years, or whatever that number yeah, is. Yeah, which is why our system is not old now and we've already got to upgrade it because of that exact reason yeah yes so is there a contract we have to sign lucia with it is just a motion it just a motion in all of that and then i will take care of signing everything out as long as the board approves it then i can take care of signing it okay all right thank you all right so we need a motion motion to approve Nine thousand nine hundred and ninety five dollars yeah. for spy systems. Lois second? Yes, second. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Any additional questions? If I may, just something maybe you can check into. Sometimes when you have the the, uh, the quality system like this. I don't know if this property insurance or overall property insurance. Sometimes that you might you might uh, actually get some type of not necessarily discount, but uh, a break in this in the overall cost of a, a type of the insurance because of the good camera system. Just something maybe you can check into. I'm not sure if they, they will depending on when you got a good system. They're not you know especially if you have a lot of signage that says listen you're on camera, which you're going to have to have anyways. You, yeah. you should have it. Uh, sometimes insurance companies, property insurance companies, will give you some kind of deduction. Yeah, unfortunately, our, our property insurance is through DHCD, so it's one bulk. Oh, wow. Well. So you know what's going to happen with that. It's not, we do not negotiate with an Got insurance it. company Got itself, it. So, but that's a very good point. All right. Motion has been made and seconded. Any opposed? No. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We already did the trash pickup, yep. so we could skip over that. All right. Commissioner comments, Lois? Uh, the only thing uh, would 
Lucy has sent out the email. Um, I was wondering if we've sent Chris anything as far as a plant or flowers or a card. I sent her a mass card because that's actually what she likes. She's very Christian in her activity and she is Catholic, so I did send her a mass card uh, from everyone. Do you think she's been in the hospital? You said two months. I, be I believe she's still there. Could we send some? Is, is it been a while since we sent her anything, Lucia? Yeah, I don't know that I'd send her a plant, but I can I can check maybe. Just a little something. I, I don't care what it is, you know. But just I thought when you made us aware of that, two months. <laughs> yeah, I can send her something else. I can. Yeah. I haven't t spoken with her this week. Okay. Um, Teresa Ewald is doing, taking care of uh, going over our financial stuff. Um, so I've been dealing with Teresa. I know Teresa calls her often, yeah. but I know she's waiting for a transplant at this point, so. Mm -hmm. But I will. Yeah, anything, a book or anything where she's stuck in the hospital, you know, that you think she, you know her better than I do. Yeah, I, I will. Okay. I Thank will you. find something for her. All right, Liz, any comments? No. Okay, and then I don't have any comments. So we'll move to tenant comments. Anything? No? Quiet meeting today. All right, our next meeting will be on October 19th, uh, 10 a.m. And I think we need a motion to adjourn. Motion yep. to adjourn. We forgot. All right. We forgot to ask about the washing machines. Oh. Oh, I haven't changed them yet, but don't worry about it. Okay. I'll do that. Yeah, that's it. All right. Motion to adjourn. Motion's made. Meeting's done.